Good morning, it's Thursday, September the 23rd, and you're watching Agoracom Small Cap News TV. I'm your host, Paul Kandakos. Agoracom TV is a daily, fast-paced show, bringing you the best press releases along with the halts at the open so that you can all be profit from them and potentially find your next great small cap investment. Folks, I have three great press releases for you this morning. Two out of the Canadian side, one out of the U.S. side, and I've got two halls to report on in the second segment of our show. So without any further ado, let's get down to business. Our lead story comes out of a company called Millrock Resources. They trade on the TSX Venture under the symbol MRO. It has to do with gold, and we know that gold is on the threshold of breaking $1,300 per ounce. Last I checked, we were around $1,292. So keep your eyes on gold because we're going to break through that magical barrier, I'm sure, any one of these days. Now, getting back to Millrock, the company is announcing results of exploration work carried out on its Estelle project, which is located in South Central Alaska. It's a chip sampling program of mineralized outcrops. I've got some highlights, which include whole number or chip sample number 42, which returned nine grams per ton of gold, and that's over a width of 27 and a half meters. So pretty significant results there. Once again, they're chip samples. Uh, and let me give you a little bit more about the company. They are a project generator in the mining industry in search for world-class gold and copper deposits in Alaska and Arizona. Last at 75 cents, high of 84 cents, low of 17 cents, mark cap of approximately $47 million. Moving on to our next company, Queenston Mining Inc. They trade on the big board under the symbol QMI. They also trade in Frankfurt under the symbol QMI and in Stuttgart under the symbol QMI. The company is announcing drill results from an additional 22 diamond drill holes from their property, which is located in Kirkland Lake, Ontario. I'm just gonna give you the highlights, but if you wanna see all the holes and the returns, check out the press release. Hole number 79 returned two grams per ton of gold over 45 meters, and we've got hole number 58 which returned 1.9 grams per ton of gold over 60 meters, so some pretty good intercepts there. A little bit about the company, they control a land package in the Kirkland Lake camp that now contains 29 properties, totaling approximately 19,000 hectares. The company's strategy and goal is to return to producer status through the development of four 100% owned gold projects. Last at 471, high of 670, low of 320, mark cap of $321 million. Now, moving over to the U.S. side, it's a Chinese-based company, China Direct Industries. They trade on the NASDAQ under the symbol CDII. They are a pure magnesium production and distribution of basic materials company. They're announcing today that they've received a contract from Beijing Chong Construction for the delivery of various types of reinforcing steel bars, having the potential to generate approximately $30 million in revenues over the next 12 months. So a significant contract if they can max out the potential of this contract. Uh, the company is last at $1.12. High of 267, low of 86 cents, market cap of approximately 35 million dollars. Now moving on to the halts, I've got two for you. First one, Northern Rand Resources on the TSX Venture under the symbol NRR, halted pending news. And finally, we've got Abentour Resources on the Venture under the symbol ABU, halted pending news. That's a wrap for today's show. Thanks for joining us. I'm your host, Paul Kandakos. Make sure to join us again here tomorrow. We've got more great press releases and halts at the open for you.